What is awake? Awake is a degree of participation or control. Asleep is no participation, no control. What is this all about? Is it any big unconscious reaction? Yeah, it's an unconscious reaction. They are no longer conscious of a still existing problem. They are now blind to this problem. They no longer see this problem. A very curious manifestation one time, a pre-clear, had been unable to exert any control of any kind over his wife for a long period of time, some years. This person was always completely unpredictable. And by the way, many people will tell you it is very good to be unpredictable. If they're telling you it's very good to be so very unpredictable, they're simply telling you that they're scared. You see, you'd only have to be unpredictable if you were afraid of other forces. And these people think of it as a virtue. They're pretty crazy people who have to be completely and continually unpredictable. You never know what they're going to say next or do next. All right, in this particular case, this woman had been utterly uncontrollable for a long, long period of time. Unpredictable is uncontrollable. Same thing. You have to be able to predict control. And so <laughs> the condition had finally come about to where... This fellow was almost crazy as far as he was concerned. No place else in the universe was he very badly off, but he was really badly off there. When he was always doing something peculiar or odd that he couldn't predict, couldn't control, he couldn't predict her, therefore he couldn't control her even to any, and he couldn't agree with her on anything because she would inhibit anybody agreeing with her. It was one of her manifestations. He was living with a psycho, and such a plausible psycho, you know, it all seemed so reasonable that he kept thinking something must be wrong with him. And one day he took a look at this woman, and all of a sudden a black curtain simply rolled down across the front of her, and she disappeared behind blackness. He couldn't see her anymore. That's right, with his physical vision. Just as strong and solid a black curtain as anything that you ever rolled up and down in front of a window. It's not a peculiar manifestation. I mean, it happens quite often. In this case, he blacked her out. What does hypnotism do? Hypnotism pulls all the pins of prediction out from underneath it even though hypnotism is sometimes used to make people tell you about the future. You see that? You put a person into a trance and ask him about the future. It's always going to be the wrong future, but we'll neglect that. There's always something wrong with that future. He is going to lose his ability to predict because he has already given over his control to somebody else. Now, you give over complete control of yourself, or if you're in an unwitting, non-agreed-upon course of some sort or another, that just leads you deeper and deeper and deeper into somebody else's control, so that you're finally finding out what to eat and so forth, if somebody else's say so, you eventually will be unable to predict anything. And life will therefore appear to be a very anxious thing to you and eventually everything will go black and you'll have the pre clear with a black field. Now, uh, you exerting control as an auditor over the mental phenomena of other pre clears doing something very interesting. You're increasing your own control. You're increasing their control. And from this you could not other than proceed out into a wider control of other dynamics. Could you? By increasing control. What does opening procedure of 8C do but wake somebody up? Let's get some kind of a rather sloppy but nevertheless true statement then with regard to the human race. We could say the human race consists of a number of individuals who have gone almost entirely to sleep. They are walking around to some degree in a trance. And that trance is absolutely no different from an hypnotic trance. There's no difference. You can induce the same kind of trance. Oddly enough, one of the greatest chemists in the field of explosions was John Parsons. John Parsons is dead. He got too good. He blew himself off the map here two or three years ago. He was a good pal of mine. 
But this man was sought out when they really had a press on. He was sought out by the U.S. government to tell it what to do about solid fuels when they wanted to knock out Tokyo. Remember the, the raid, the uh, Doolittle's bombers and so forth? Well, he couldn't get these light bombers off an aircraft without putting a rocket assist, and they didn't have a fuel. So they came and found John Parsons. Very curious thing. The government at first was unable to hire him in spite of his fame in the field of chemistry and explosives, in spite of his record and his attainments. Why? Because he didn't have any degrees in chemistry. That was a terrible situation, wasn't it? But do you know how he studied chemistry? He was a bad boy in school. He wouldn't conform in any direction. But an old, mild, old English teacher, a British instructor, finally found out that the boy was interested in test tubes, so he simply turned him loose in a room full of them and said, John, you go ahead. And nobody controlled him to the slightest degree. And he went to that school seven years. He graduated from there, the foremost genius in the field of explosives in the United States. Now, there's, there's an interesting thing, isn't it? It isn't that there was anything wrong with formal education, but there is a great deal wrong in educating somebody so as to put him under control and put him to sleep on the subject. In other words, hypnotizing. If you want to get results in a preclear, you'll only depend on one thing, recognizing that he is in a somewhat hypnotized state and depend upon your ability to wake him up out of that state by making him contact at least the physical environment as an HC. If you're going to instruct a student, then you're going to insist that that student learn how to control the field of his instruction. And if you specialize on him as a case, you're done. Because you are putting him under control, aren't you? But if you specialize on him, on somebody who handles cases and show him how, you're demonstrating a continuous control over other people, aren't you? And by getting him to demonstrate his control, by getting him to exercise it and use it, you will wake him up. Little by little, more and more, you become more and more alert, and he'll think, boy, I sure was a dumb bunny before that course began, but now I really know what I'm doing. And if you have taught him to take him under his control, all those factors with which he's operating, you will have succeeded. And if you have put him into a point or position where you have demonstrated to him he can't control yet, or ever, the factors you're training him in, you will put him to sleep. And hypnotism is accomplished simply by demonstrating to a person that he is not able to control but that somebody else controls him. That's all there is to the subject, and actually that's all there is to training. Okay.